Motivation for all you guildlings out there. Okay, so you recently issued an Order 66 on someone. Tell us what's going on with that. PJ texted me yesterday when I was hanging out with Nate. I turned my phone back and says, I need your help, brother. I was worried about him. I didn't know what was going on. And he told me, he called me up and he says, this girl named Susie Lesler scammed PJ's wife off of clothing, her clothing design store ideas, and stole money from her and scanned her and disappeared. Remember that old house PJ used to live in? Yeah. She was living in there and she ran away and disappeared and stole all their money and their ideas. Fucking bitch, man. Bad and girl. And bought her subscribers. Half of them are fake. She has over 700,000. Over half are fake. It's fucked up, man. Really bad, man. And PJ is going to help me. Either spo He's going to sponsor me and give me a salary. Hopefully, I'm going to talk to him tomorrow and make a deal with him. PJ's going to sponsor you and give you a salary? Yeah. It's about fucking time, man. What did you say? A salary. Did you, what did you just say, though? Like, He's going to sponsor me. You just said it's what? About fucking time. It's about fucking time. About fucking time. But see, now you're gonna go, you're gonna go spouting off and ruin it for yourself. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Talk too much. I just appreciate what. There's PJ. some shit that you gotta I just handle behind I just, the scenes. I just appreciate what PJ Vaughn's doing for me. Lots of love, and all I can say is earn his trust and loyalty. And I will not fuck you over, PJ. I did it for you. See, now, of... now fuck Wardo's really going to hate you because you're going to cut into his salary. <laughs> no, He's I... not going to have you cleaning toilets like him, is he? No. I really okay. love PJ, what he's doing for me. Uh, if I become his powerlifting athlete, his first powerlifting athlete, I'll do work without my ass off. Right, all I can more. say, I do appreciate what you're doing. And all I can say, you yeah. want I love you tomorrow, PJ. I do love you, and I show loyalty by fucking nailing this girl all over Instagram and YouTube and spamming the fuck out of her because I care about you, bro. If I didn't care, don't show my love. But I need a sponsorship and I need to pay my bills for my family, my mom, and myself. What the fuck are you doing? Just getting a burger or something simple. I don't want you to tell us for. We don't take the orders here. Wait till the guy comes back. We're just drinking tonight. We're not eating. I have to, if you eat, you can't get drunk. I have to eat because I'm a little dizzy. I have too much uh, caffeine today. Are you huffing the gasoline on the way here or what? No, I had too many pre workouts today. I feel sick today. I got some weed. You want to smoke some weed? No, that would make me more sick than I had pre workout. Break me off, Greg. <laughs> I got some uh, sour diesel. I think what that girl did to PJ is really bad. She may be a pretty girl. Who? But this uh, Susie uh, Lesler, she may be a pretty girl, but inside she's the devil. She's yeah, I got news for you, Jason. The hotter they are, the crazier they are. She's a devil and she's a fucking beast monster de bitch. She's no good, man. She's good at all good at the bad and What is that? Chicken? Chicken. chicken. Eat this. It's better for you. Oh, I want a burger, man. No, you're going to eat that. No, oh, I want a burger, man. The girl got you dinner. Eat that. It's a kale salad with grilled chicken. This is, listen, you gotta start losing weight. You can't eat the fucking cheeseburgers. Man. That's it. That's delicious. Eat it. No, it's not okay. He's gonna eat it. If I'm hungry, I'll get something else for you. If I'm not. <laughs> Where's Nada? Is he coming out? No, Nate's fucking depressed because RZ's acting like a. Ours is not acting so cool Who? Doesn't that guy have a show tonight or some yeah, shit? He's moody because I'm low carb. So, so what's that mean? You see a fucking woman? Try the sauce, it's good. Put it on the. If I ever do a, a talk show host. On, on and celebrity status in Hollywood, like all these big timers. I'll talk about fitness channels, the cookie cutter fitness channels of celebrity status, the lifestyle of the rich and YouTube famous. Cookie cutter Chris Jones, cookie cutter uh, Jason Baja. Cookie, talk about their cookie cutter boring shit on YouTube and how pathetic it is. I don't know why any. We were already talking about this. Why do we keep after rehashing this? But it is cookie cutter. Why don't you want to watch any of that shit anymore? Because it's cookie cutter. It's fucking boring. It's the most boring as Listen, fucking. Even PJ's shit is boring until you come in. Well, then That's it's why they have you on all their shows. The only entertaining YouTube channel. They want to see his wife and you. That's it. The, only the rest of this shit is gone. The only entertainer YouTuber 
is Zach, Nate, me, and us. Oh, the other one. And 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 Brian, and what is his name? Uh, That's I, all those are debatable. They're okay. They're okay. They're okay. They, they, drag, they drag shit out. They do. Okay, but that's their shtick. That's a, Listen, if it works for them, right, guys. great. I bought the server and you guys are still mine. Um, cook, they're all cookie cutters. You know the worst channel? Christian, Christian Goomba. I order 66. Who the fuck is that? He uh, you say Goomba? Goomba. Christian who? Chris Goomba. Christian Goomba. Who is that? He fucked, he fucked his guy. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know who it is. The body building YouTube site. I'm order 66 of him. I order 66 of him. He screwed his girlfriend Nikki. Nikki is a famous YouTube fitness and figure model. You know who you need to order 66? You know who you need to order 66? Jared Fogel. The subway guy. For being, for being a fucking pedophile. Remember the guy that who lost all that weight by eating Subway sandwiches and then he got busted for being a pedophile? Yeah, that guy's a pain. Order 66 <laughs> your ass, bitch. Jared Fogel. Jared Fogel. Jared Fogel. Your order 66. Your subs are garbage. Subway tastes like shit. It tastes like cafeteria. <laughs> you know, he got beat up in prison. <laughs> yeah, I read about it's that. It's hilarious. You know what? Jason's like the Wendy Williams for YouTube channels. All he does is dish gossip and dirt on every YouTube channel, man. You're like Wendy Williams. You're you know like a you're like a gossip you know, monger. I'm gonna order 66 next. Talking shit about everyone's YouTube channel. Who? I'm gonna order 66 Chris Jones for not clapping with me. That's why you're the iron extortionist. This order is, 66. This is what happens. He asks someone to collab with him, and when they don't do it, they get order 66. Order 66. That's extortion! Order 66, Chris Jones, for not collapsing. If Cookie Cutter. What are these girls doing? What is this shit? Order 66. They're looking at all of Jason's dick pics and his jerk videos. Jason, look, they're watching your Order 66, Chris, Chris no. Jones, Chris Jones, pansy ass, are not collabsing. You lied. Jason, they're watching your whack off video over there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Susie Lesnar had 48 followers, PJ told me. And after this shit happened, what are now, you saying? Susie Lesnar, girl, fucking over. Wasn't that bad? She had 48 fucking followers. Now she has 700,000. She didn't. She bought all of her followers. That is fucked up. Jason, I am convinced 100 percent that more than half of all of these asshole YouTube fitness jerk offs or Instagram buy their subscribers. All you have to do is look at their view to subscriber ratios. Now. Admittedly, our channel, the Delray Misfits, we have an unusually we have an unusually high viewer to subscriber See, me, ratio because do. I don't upload a lot of videos. But look me at too, someone like too. Mark Lo Mark Lobliner. Mark Lobliner gets what? You gotta knock out. Mine get good views too, don't they? Mine get good legit views too. He's not talking about. I'm you. not talking about you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm I talking about people like Mark Lobliner. Let me tell you something. It's fuzzy math. It's you know, George Bush. You know, you know who's 100% legit? My friend PJ's subscribers are legit. I never said anything about PJ. I, I agree with you there. And PJ. I'm talking about these ass. Assholes with like 300,000 subs. No, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, PJ's uh, followers on Instagram are legit, and so is his wife. I never said they weren't. I'm not talking about PJ. I'm talking about other assholes yeah. whose view to subscriber ratios it's are so disproportionate. And you know what happened to Mark Lobliner? He was at 375,000 subscribers. He's down to 200 and something. And he gets 5,000 views. It doesn't video. make any sense. Yeah, he lost. How do you have 5,000 no, views? No, that doesn't make any sense. By having fake subscribers. You lost over 100,000 subs. Something doesn't add up, buddy. All these assholes. If you assholes. go from 300 something, that are all fucking frauds. Every single ass one of them. Why would you waste your time watching it? And then you see all these fitness cunts that are on Instagram and they post their selfie pictures in the mirror every fucking morning. Who the fuck needs to see that you know, shit? I have a question. Like I want. Well, I want to pose a question to everyone out there on YouTube who watches all these videos. As we know, the social media era has exposed so many narcissists. But here's my question. And scam artists. What came first? Social media or the narcissist? The narcissist. Chicken did, or the egg. Did, did, did these narcissists, these fucking thirst trap attention whores all over Instagram, were they always narcissists? Yeah. Or did they become narcissists 
and now they have an outlet as a result of shit like Snapchat and Instagram. Yes. You know these fitness whores who post pictures of themselves squatting, wearing like a thong and shit, and you see, and they post the same fucking shit every day. Every fucking day the same. Were these, no, I think that's for you. Were these people always narcissists? What? Uh, what's your surprise, Jason? McCarthy, Keep your clothes on. Ian McCarthy came back on YouTube. I know. I saw the video. He's back. Oh yay, another boring YouTube. <laughs> yeah, speaking of. I mean, Ian's a nice kid. He's an alright guy, but how, how entertaining can that shit fucking be? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I'll give Ian credit, because Ian's been around a YouTube fitness game for a while. Before all these cookie cutter assholes. Like I said, he's a nice guy, his yeah. wife is very cool. Who knows? This shit might be informative, because he is he's a scientist, kind of genius. Yeah, he is. He knows Whatever, I, Ian was around on YouTube before all these other generic Idiot. dime a dozen fitness Jerks. cookie cutter channels. Same, same with me too. Same with me too. Yes, you're right. You have been around before all of them. You're 100% right. And Nick Wright too. Nick Wright's one of them, but I hate him as a cookie cutter. You hate Nick Wright? I don't hate Nick Wright, but he's a cookie cutter. Like I, don't, who's I, Nick? I know the name, but he's I don't know who the... On YouTube. 2006. If I walk by him in the street, I wouldn't know who the fuck he is. Here's another cookie cutter. Most of these guys you wouldn't know if you walk past no. them. Who's the most known YouTuber? I don't know, Jason. Who? Me. Who? Me. Who? Me. 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 The legend. The, 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 Lord, the Lord Vader of legend. The Iron Extortionist. The Legend of Fitness. I'm one of the original YouTube channels, not a cookie cutter, and very entertaining, very unique, changes it up a lot, very different. The Lord Vader, the Sith Lord, the badass of fitness, the ridiculous, insane Vader, Order 66. You sound like Apollo Creed right now. Order 66, they're fancy ass. <laughs> up the Jedi Temple. Listen, let me, all I can say is surprise attack before they go to sleep and they wake up and their shit is annihilated. Sneak attack, nightfall attack. Listen, all I can say is all the girl channels, all the, the bodybuilder finishes are all the same bullshit. Bro signs, boring. Oh, this is how you train bicep. Same bullshit. Same bullshit. The only two original YouTube channels is Nick and Ian. All the other ones are cookie cutters. Cookie cutters. Who are you talking about? Who? Ian. Who else? And me. You and, you and Ian are the kings of the fitness fucking YouTube. Uh, because we've been so around why first. Have, why do you have 23 fucking thousand subscribers? Why don't you have a million subscribers? Because people are still watching me. They don't want to subscribe. Why? They don't want to subscribe because they're dead watching me. They don't want to subscribe. Why wouldn't you subscribe? What is it about? Because not everybody's going to subscribe. Do you have to pay to subscribe to no, the shit? No, no, no. Some people don't want to subscribe because they're dickheads. They're dicks. That's how they are. They're not interested. No, because most people don't pay attention to this shit. Yeah. It's great. Believe it or not, not, most people don't give a fuck about YouTube fitness channels. But it will keep spreading over the years. It will. It will. It keep growing. It will. Over time. But this is a fucked up thing. Another cookie cutter sellout YouTuber, and I'm going to name him right now. Some of the ones would have. Here we go. Ones. See, when you get a few beers in you, what, what is it? A, a, a drunk man's words or a sober man's thoughts? Yeah, it's like giving Here Jason a, a shot of sodium pentothal. Order 66, Order 66 yeah. at Christian Punk Chasers, Indian. We're not collaborating. Okay, and throw away all the clothes that he fucking gave. I am. Yeah, but you wear his clothes on camera. I'm not exactly. in. We'll have a ceremonial burning of them outside the fucking okay, old I'll world gym. Our ass with them and then you can fucking That's them. right. Then we'll burn them. You can't talk shit about these people, but promote their fucking clothing we'll, on camera. We'll, we'll, we'll light a match and burn it. And so, we'll, let's do that. Light a match and burn that shit on camera. Light a match and burn it. You're not allowed to go near fire. Okay? Yeah, you, you're not playing with matches or the lighter or anything. You know what we'll do? We'll rip it at a rope. We'll, we'll, we'll fucking take a scissor and rip that shit. We'll take a scissor and... Yeah. Chop it up in little pieces. We'll use it. Use it to dry your car after we wash it. Yeah, that's basically it. We'll use it as a rag. It's a rag. It's a, it's a rag. rag. A dish rag. Whatever. <laughs> it's only worth a couple bucks.